Castle, I'm kind of glad that you killed off Storm. Less competition. Mm. 20 to you, Cattle. You're bluffing, Patterson. Cough up some of that TV money and you'll find out. Ah, best to you, Ricky. Castle. Castle. Hmm? Best to you. Oh, sorry. I know that look. Story trouble. Yeah, you never should have killed off Storm. That was a big mistake. I, I would have retired him. <laughs> or crippled him. I mean, the man was money. You don't see me putting a bullet through Alex Cross's head. And my boy Shane Scully's going to be fueling my private jet long after people have all forgotten about Storm. Well, you know what? Just for that, I am going to call. So what's the problem, Ricky? Maybe we can help. I'm working on this thing. It starts with a famous author. Some psycho starts staging murders like the way he does in his books. <laughs> That's pretty self-aggrandizing, isn't it? This is Castle we're talking about. So, crime scenes are clean. Doesn't leave any fingerprints, doesn't leave any DNA. But the psycho writes the author a fan letter with his prints all over it. Well, that leads the cops to his apartment where they find enough evidence to convict him. And then? That's it. That's it? Yeah, they arrest him. That's terrible. No wonder you're blocked. And here's another thing. The guy doesn't leave his prints at the scene of the crime, but he sends a letter with his prints on it. Oh, you lost me there. And what about a twist? Where's the twist? Yeah, yeah right, like, uh, like maybe somebody set this kid up. That's what your story needs. The character who thinks the kid's innocent keeps digging until he finds the truth. Oh, I have just the guy. Leave that to me. <laughs> That's a pretty good story, Ricky. Has got a big opening, a major twist. Though I gotta say, I saw that whole drug mule thing coming. Nice try, Connell. You're not gonna goad me into raising. Steven, you once wrote about an underground poker game in uh, King Kong. Yeah. And you once had Harry Bosch investigate the murder of a poker player. Yeah, one dollar jackpot. Why? Well, Michael, this guy that we're looking for, he's a regular in the triad run games in Chinatown. I thought maybe one of you knew someone who could get me in. What are you, nuts? Those are crooks and killers down there. Look, Ricky, doing the research is one thing, but the Russian mafia, the triad, you tangle with those people, and all the best sellers in the world are not going to protect you. I don't, I, don't, I don't plan on tangling. I'm just going to be another rich, bored thrill seeker looking to try my luck down there. You must really like her. Who? That police detective of yours. Look, Ricky, there's only one reason that you'd be dumb enough to go down there, and that's to impress a girl. Why don't you cut yourself a little slack and just buy her some flowers? Do you know the place or not? Well? A murder in the middle of a spy game where nobody knows what's going on? I like that. Ukrainians are a nice twist. So we've explained the money, the gadgets, and the briefcase. The only thing we can't explain, why was he killed? Maybe that's because you're looking in the wrong place. All right, Patterson, where would you look? If I was writing this, the murder would have nothing to do with the spy game, except that they gave the killer an opportunity to act. Knowing that the trappings of the game would cover his tracks. Which is pretty much what's happened. Look, Rick, as much trouble as we go to with these novels, there's only three reasons to commit a murder. Love, money, and to cover up a crime. Candle's right. I spend more time looking at your victim and less time looking at the game. Personally, I'd spend more time writing and less time hanging out with your cop friend. I mean, really, Ricky? Just one book a year? Kind of thin, Rick. She seems like more of a distraction than a muse. No, you're right. I think I've gotten everything I can get out of that relationship anyway. Gentlemen, this the new guy? Alex Conrad, Michael Connolly, Dennis Lane. It's really awesome to meet you guys. I am a uh, huge fan. It's not a book signing, kid. We're here to play poker. All right. Uh, oh, uh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's Kennel seat. Oh. Yeah, it's the rule. We lose a member. Nobody sits there for a year. <laughs>